let's figure out what we have to do to compile network drivers. Probably one of the easiest things you can do is dig in your parts bin and grab one of these USB Wi-Fi dongles and plug that thing in. This is an Edimax. It's the one I used with my Raspberry Pis. There will be a link in the description down below. This is probably gonna be supported right out of the box. Look at that. Select a Wi-Fi network, my Wi-Fi network, and we're online. Awesome. Okay, so now that we're online, I can bring up a web browser and we can go through this install process for the internal drivers together. I mean, I can try to bring up a web browser. I feel like I missed the button. Nope, there it is. Oh my goodness. So we go to GitHub. The link for this will be in the description down below. If it ever loads. That's better. All right, so for Ubuntu, do the usual stuff like, like apt-get, update, and upgrade. I'm gonna get a mouse. This is a pain. Achievement unlocked, mouse in hand. Hey, look at that, I can expand the window now. That was a pain. 44 minutes, nine minutes. <laughs> okay. 15 minutes, it's all over the map. 27. I suspect my internet connection isn't happy, but I am trying to tap the multiverse, so. Yeah, I'll come back when this is done. All right, that took way longer than I thought it would, but I think it had something to do with my internet connection. I was having trouble with it. But we're on the other side of that now. We've got the update done, and we've got to do the upgrade just because it's a fresh install. Yes, I want to continue. Okay, so the next step would be to install all of this other stuff. So make GCC Linux headers for the current uh, version of Linux that we're running and build essential, which is a bunch of other compiler tools and Git. So these are all tools that are gonna give you the ability to build the driver for the Wi-Fi. It's 206 megabytes. This laptop does make a little bit of noise when you start to stress it out. And so next up, we need to clone out the repository. I'm going to do CD to get into my home directory. And then I'm going to clone out the repository. So again, all of these commands will be down in the description below. No need to take notes. I already took notes for you. And it's going to copy down the data from the repository online to a local folder called RTL8723DU. Whenever it feels like it. Okay, that's why I do these things so that I can go through the pains of figuring out what the problems are and doing it anyway. I did the git clone as it showed in the instructions and it just sat there spinning, didn't do anything. So I tried it again thinking it might have been a bad connection. That wasn't it. So I did a ping test and it came back with good ping times. So I tried again thinking it might have been something transient. So I tried it tried to SSH in, I was able to get connected and, and authorize and I got disconnected. This is actually a normal thing that happens because you don't have authorization to do that unless you set that up and I haven't set it up on this machine. But it proves that I was able to get connected and get the reject message, which is what I was looking for. So again, it, it worked. Let me, let me try it again, thinking it's transient. That's not it. So let's try doing git at github.com using the SSH method. It connected, but I got permission denied. So that was positive results. So then I finally just switched over to the HTTPS method, which is, which is really unauthenticated. And that was able to download it just fine. So let's keep on pressing forward. CD into the RTL 8723DU folder. And then we run the make command. Okay, I'd say that didn't take too long, but we all know there's a clock in the corner right up there. Next step is to make install. <laughs> it took so long the pseudo timer timed out. And then activate. And it has been inserted into the running kernel. Now let's see if we get to choose it. Wi-Fi network Edimax, Wi-Fi network Realtek. Let's connect to it over the Realtek. Hmm. 
and the colors are screwed up because I'm using VNC for screen capture instead of doing the HDMI capture now. And we are connected. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot and see if it comes back to life. But first, I'm going to remove the NMAX card. If I can get it out. All right. There is the Edimax card out, and we're connected again. This is where we left off with the apt install, no, not the apt install, with the mod probe, uh, which loaded it up, and then we connected to the Wi-Fi network, and then I disconnected the Edimax driver, Edimax USB dongle, and I had to reset VNC, which is what I'm using to remote control the machine. If config wasn't installed, so I had to install if config by installing net tools, and then I was able to figure out what the IP address was, and then I restarted the VNC server. That just shows that we were able to get it up and working. It's kind of a proof of concept, proof that we got the job done. So let's do reboot and see if it survives a reboot. And if not, fix it. And it's up and running again. And again, no Edimax. So it worked just fine on booting itself up. Edimax, my old friend to the rescue one more time. There will be a link in the description down below for the Edimax Wi-Fi USB adapter. It was invaluable in getting this job done. I could have copied the data over and done it via sneaker net using a USB thumb drive. That was a big time saver just being able to get online and handle it. It could also be that that is the answer for you. Uh, it's cheap enough, plug it in, go solve your problem. Either way works for me and there's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you over there.